This week I want to talk about room bounding elements and specifically room bounding as it pertains to linked files. So if you link different Revit projects together, uh, it turns out that you can actually enable room bounding for those linked models so that you can place rooms in one model and have them reference the room bounding geometry within the link. So I want to demonstrate how that works for you here this week. I'm going to start off by building a new file from scratch. Here on the home screen, I'm going to click the new button under models. I'm going to use the default imperial multidiscipline template, but you can use any starter file that you like. You can use your own office standard template if you prefer. And then I'm going to go to the insert tab and link in a file. Now I've provided a file that you can use, or if you prefer, you can link in any file that you happen to have access to. So my file is in the exercise files folder, which is on my desktop. It's called room bounding links right here. And I'm just going to bring it into the internal origin and click open. Now there is a link in that file that it's telling me it's going to ignore. I can just ignore that message and click close there. Now I've got this model linked in here. And as you can see, this is a single element here. It's a link to that model. Um, and it's this very simple floor plan. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit like so. Now, if I go to architecture and I draw some walls and I'm just going to do a little box out here somewhere and then I go to architecture and go to the room tool. If I move my mouse inside this box right here, you will see that um, it will find that space and create a room. Let me turn on the tag on placement here. I can easily create a new room. But if I try to do the same thing here in the spaces within this building here, uh, you'll see that it doesn't sense those room bounding elements and it says that the room is not a properly enclosed region. So the solution to that is really quite simple. All we need to do is select the linked model, go to the edit type button here on the properties palette, and you can turn on room bounding. Now this is a uh, type based property. So it's going to affect all instances of this link if you have multiple instances. And we're just going to check that box. And that's really all we need to do. Notice that this room has now uh, changed shape and it now reacts to the room bounding elements within that file, which includes the walls, the room separators, the columns. And if I go to my room tool, I could continue placing additional rooms in that file. Now, if you were to unload the link, so if I go to manage links, select the link and I'll choose unload, it's going to say you can't undo that. That's fine. I'll click OK. Notice that it will display the room is not a properly enclosed region. So while the link is unloaded, you will have these sort of orphaned rooms here that will not know their correct size and shape. And it makes sense because the room bounding elements that they rely on are no longer here. But if you go back to uh, manage links and you reload the link, then it will respond accordingly. And all of these rooms will now reconform to those room bounding shapes. If you edit this file and make changes to those room bounding elements, when that link gets reloaded, it will have an impact on those rooms. So adding new walls, adding new columns or room separators, uh, deleting walls or room separators, uh, reconfiguring the spaces, all of those changes will have an impact on this file when, when that link is reloaded. So really simple one this week. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. If you're ever in the situation where you got a link file, but you prefer to have the rooms be in a separate file, then you can easily do that. You just need to know that the setting that controls that is buried away in the edit type dialog, which I think for a lot of users, you wouldn't even expect that a link had an edit type um, setting, but it does. And so that little hidden away setting allows you to have rooms that are bounded to a linked model.